Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here's my Instagram and Facebook if you want to follow me. Today I'm gonna do a like a full face, like an almost full face uh, first impressions. I don't think I have like any particularly new products, but they're like new to me. I have a couple of like repurchases, but the most of them are uh, for me first impressions and I ordered all this stuff from the site called Lux Plus I'm gonna link it down below if you guys do want to go check that out um sorry that's my cat playing in the background if it makes a little bit of noise I can like I can't help it but um did I say anything everything I wanted to say well I think so so let's get into the video okay now i've primed my eyes with my p louis base i didn't want to get any new like eyeshadow primers because i like wanted to test this eyeshadow palette with like my usual like eyeshadow primers oh my face is itch so i for eyeshadow palette, I bought this Technic Mesmerizing Breast Pigment Palette. It looks like this. And it has some, like it, uh, I think this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Huda Beauty. Um, uh, the mini, mini palettes that's, that he, she has. I'm gonna just like zoom you guys in. So you can see better and then we can start the eye look. Okay, now that you guys are zoomed in, we can start to look. And I'm gonna start with this, this darkest matte that it has. And I'm using the JH40 brush. I'm just like stamping the... Oh, it definitely has a pigment to it wasn't expecting this much out of this so i'm just packing this through my crease and outer corner with this brush that's my cat meowing on the background okay Now that I have like a shape through my, like the darkest color placed, I'm gonna take this next darkest, that brighter, like deep forest green on my Morphe Jeffree Star JS12 brush. And I'm gonna like 50% on my on the previous color and 50% on the fair skin and I'm starting to like pack and plan with a little um, circular motion Now I'm gonna go with the lightest green, matte green on this palette, and it's this. I'm gonna take my Plank Canvas E10 brush and lightly starting to further blend this green. These 
are like I'm actually quite impressed this palette was if I remember co correctly it was 3.95 like in euro so that's so like inexpensive and they had this in a different colors too on the looks plus site um, I don't know if you can buy Technic like if they sell it in um, do they have their own website? If they do, I'm gonna link Technique down below. I have quite a lot of Technique for product in this video, so if you guys want to check them out. But I'm, pre I'm impressed. Like, I, I wasn't expecting, like, I, I, I was like a bit like, is that gonna work? Because in like four euros, like how can you make this pigmented eyeshadow for four euros and these blend nicely on top of my eyeshadow paste so now I'm like happy with the blending for now and I think I'm gonna go and cut my crease with my P. Louise base and I'm gonna do this off camera because it's like it takes me a while to get my cut crease to like to perfect my cut crease so I'm gonna do that quickly off camera and then we can try some shimmers of this palette now I have my cut crease on it's fairly even and let's see I'm gonna swatch a couple of these shimmers just to see how they are. Okay. So we have like those. Hmm. I have to say that the shimmers aren't that convincing, at least not swatched, but we all know that it's not always the swatch don't tell everything so I'm gonna just take this lightest this one first and this is just some Morphe brush that is so old that I had to like do some the do some like um, fixing to it so it's not even at the same brush anymore but I like it to pack my pigments i think i'm gonna try it first try because i have like a wet paste but if it if it doesn't like give me the result i want i'm gonna wet the okay i think this will benefit from wetting because it has like a glitter running to it so I'm just going to take my primer, primus water, primer water and yeah, that like gave it a bit of, mm. it's quite crumbly. So if you're doing your eyes, like your face first and then eyes, you might have quite a lot of fall out on your, on your face. That's a pretty set. Let's see how it works with finger. Yeah, I think finger is the way to go with these, if you like. But when I'm doing a cut crease, I usually like, don't like to use my finger because you want to be as precise as you can. But for the amount that you pay for this palette, like I'm actually really impressed like I've had worst palettes like and paid them for more so good job technique I'm like now I'm wondering how could they do like this good of a palette at this price sometimes you like wonder like how do you do this Oh, 
Okay, now we got this going on, and I'm I'm really happy with what we have now. And I'm gonna wipe now. I have a bit of fallout, mainly just for the shimmer shade. I'm gonna wipe this away. I think I'm gonna do the lashes now. So I got Maybelline mascara, just a lash and chastenal good mascara. I've had this mascara before. This was I thought I what is this? Black gold. Oh no. I thought I was like buying a black mascara, but that's why this was so cheap. This was like three, four euros. This is like a, well, a black gold. I'm just gonna apply this. Well, with this eye look, it doesn't look that bad, but I'm gonna apply lashes. I, I, I should have like read the description better, but this mascara is like, I've had the, like the black one and that's really nice. This is just like a, it looks like, if you guys can see, yeah, it looks like that. Maybe this will be a good mascara when you're like, want something more natural. Now I can go to the um, false lashes and I bought Technique lashes. Foaming 3D lashes. These look really pretty. Like really pretty. Like I think this will work very nicely. It comes with the glue. Here you can see that they are really curved. And I think I need to like cut them down quite a bit because they look really um long okay i wasn't gonna do liner but these lashes the lash band is so thick that um i had to do liner because otherwise i couldn't like get the like them to look good and and these lashes they look pretty in the packaging but yeah I, I'm not like I'm not living for these they're like I think they're a bit too sparse they actually look so different on my eyes like this lash look prettier that I'm putting on now and it's actually going on really nicely but this one is like I don't know what's going on here it's like I'm not living they look completely different lashes like I don't know what's happening with this one but you can see that this lash looks completely different than this one well so I wouldn't recommend this although they look pretty like this lash I would recommend but this lash I wouldn't now I'm gonna zoom you guys back and we can start the face. All right, now we can start the face and I bought the Maybelline Master Maybelline Face Studio Prime Hydrating Primer. I've had this before. This has hyaluronic acid in it. And I have a dry skin, so I like hydrating primers. It looks like a 
basic moisturizer feels nice on my skin feels hydrating I've had this primer before so but it hurt it's been a while since I had it so I think it gives like a nice sheen to my face I also have this Technic magic mist illuminating setting spray and this is the one you can like when you spray it it does like that and I thought that I could try this like under my makeup too let's see how's the mist there like oh that's not bad yeah it gives like a if you don't like glitter this really like gives you a glitter but let's try yeah it's a bit a bit aggressive and now my shirt like my new shirt that i made myself i click at this leaves is like this i know that that had a glitter but it's like uh i don't know like now i have glitter like to my eyeshadow and yeah it's actually a bit even like um like tingles my skin i don't know about that like i'm covered in glitter now so so the foundation i bought is the wet and wild photo focus um, foundation and this is a repurchase again this time i i think i had it in a like a one shade up and that was a bit dark for my skin so this time i bought in the shade soft ivory and this has a like a spatula applicator so i'm just gonna like take it with the spatula on my face and like maybe we should start with that amount and I'm using my Primark sponge this comes with the set of two the other one is a like a purpley okay I just like noticed that I don't have a concealer somehow I forgot to buy one but I'm just gonna use the concealer that I ordered last time when I ordered from Lux Plus and this is the Barium all night long full cover concealer in the shade milk and I'm just gonna like this is a really brightening brightening shade for me and just gonna a little bit like add on the center of my face too and blend out with my sponge As you can see, this really brightens up my under eyes. And this has a really nice coverage too. I've actually not been using this that much because after I ordered this, I got my like e.l.f. concealer that I act like so much. So I've been using that, but I need to use this more because this really is a nice concealer. It's maybe a tad too light for this foundation. So we're gonna add a powder, so that might like, and we're gonna have a bronzer and highlight, so I think that's gonna be okay. But this is the base with just the foundation and concealer. For powder, Okay, for setting my face, I bought this Technique Translucent Pressed Powder. It looks like this. It has a slight, like, tint to it. And let's see. 
doesn't have that much of a kickback. It like nicely picks with the brush. Let's see that I don't have any creases under my eyes before I set. I'm gonna firstly. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. I can like, I don't like it for at least under my eyes. It's it's too dry for my under eyes and my under eyes are quite finicky with powder so that's not it's not like it my skin actually doesn't look that great today I don't know if it's that mist or what but my skin on this side looks really cake I don't know if you guys can see, but I have like this cakey texture. I don't know what's going on because the foundation usually looks pretty on my face, but that's like, I'm not gonna set my whole face because my face is already like not, not looking that great. So I'm just gonna like set the perimeter. Yeah. This powder just isn't that great okay now to like contour I'm gonna use this Rimmel Kate um, contour highlight blush palette and this is in the shade O2 Coral Glow and I'm gonna use the contour shade and the highlight but then I'm gonna use for blush, I have like this Technic blush palette, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna like, it looks like that this contour shade, I don't know if it's just like the overspray, but it looks like it has like a bit of shimmer in it. But let's see, it looks like a pretty decent shade for contouring. Yeah, I think that's more like a for my skin, I would say that this is more like a bronzer shade than a yeah, I think I'm gonna use this as a bronzer shade because for my skin it's not like a I don't think it's like that much of a contouring shade and I can use something else to contour or not contour at all. Yeah, I like this like as a Yeah, I would definitely use this as a bronzer It's actually like let me see it's like pretty similar to this that i picked for bronzer today this is the maybelline city bronze and if you can see that they are quite similar colors maybe the city bronzer is a little bit more light i've been like watching this palette for so long and i've never bought it because it's just like do, am I gonna use that but yeah I like this as a bronzer and it has like a I would say that it has like a sheen to it like a nice little sheen yeah I like this this is a good bronzer okay now I'm quickly gonna go contour off camera because I, I just want to add a little bit definition and then I will go back okay now I'm gonna spritz my face quickly with the primer primer water don't want to use that technique magic mist again because it was awful so couple of spritz before highlighter and then I'm gonna sun my face a bit and Let's take my highlighting brush and take this highlighting shade. Let's see. I'm 
That might be a tad, yeah, I think you can see it kind of leaving me a bit of a cast. But this is a quite subtle highlighter. Um, Maybe if I try it with more dense brush, let's see. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's giving me something, but I'm like used to more, more blinding highlighters. And also this shade is, maybe I bought like the wrong, wrong shade for me, but this is a bit, too dark for my skin. Do I have any shade in this palette? No. I'm gonna quickly add something like more to my skin because I want this look to be nice. So I'm gonna add just a tad bit more highlighter. Okay, I added just a touch. I added a little bit more glow with this Catrice High Glow Mineral Powder. And now we can try this blush palette. Let me get my blush brush. And this is a Technique Matte Finish Mega Blush Palette. And it has like a four blush shades, a pale pink then some corally shades and I think I'm gonna like focus on these two because I think they will like oh wow these are so pigmented oh no what am I gonna do? Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, be careful with this. Like, I hope I can, like, blend that back. Yeah, these are super pigmented. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, you can blend them out, but they are, like, extra pigmented. Let's try the other one. I'm gonna try a bit of this Rimmel palette blush and see because this is a like light peach, really nice sage. So if I can like maybe soften. I, I actually like a, a lot of blush, but even I had my limits. Gonna maybe a bit go over it with my sponge. Yeah. So I would say that this palette is nice. Like I like the bronzer shade, I like the blush shade. The highlight shade is um, quite subtle and a tad too dark for me. This palette if you use it like with care and tap off your brush really oh oops I fell my brush. if you tap it like tap it up on your hand and really carefully add it then you can like make it work but you have to be really careful with this okay we could quickly like now do my um, lower lash line and I'm gonna go with the same like darkest blue color and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner of my eye. These go on a set face really nicely too. So if you don't like to um, I maybe went a bit low on that side, but if you don't like using um 
eyeshadows on a wet face. You can make this work too. Now I'm just taking the second lightest matte and blending this over. I did get two like Barium holographic eye toppers and I do like have this. I have uh, two, two of these shades already. So I bought these two. And I'm thinking I'm gonna add the blue one, like on the inner part of my eye. So I'm gonna take a angled brush. This is a Chessup JH30 angled liner. I'm gonna take this off on the angled liner brush. And I'm a little bit doing this on the, like, there on the inner part. Yeah, that's really pretty. It like gives a, a bit of pop in there. A bit of like something interesting on the inner corner. Okay, I just added some brown um, brown pencil on my waterline. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Hot Chocolate. And then I did my brows quickly. Now we can highlight my inner corner. And I think I'm gonna take this like yellowy, goldy shade. And... Gonna, yeah, add it in my inner corners. And I might even add a bit of this, like what we have on the lid, just to try if we get like, yeah, I think that works nice. Yeah, so now is my eye look is ready and we're only missing the lips. I'm gonna quickly co line my lips because I didn't buy a lip liner and then we can go add this revolution like nude liquid lipstick. Okay, I lined my lips with a revolution um, prime lip liner and now I'm going with this revolution matte liquid lipstick I think this is an aside feathered 109 let's see the smell is kind of like I don't like the smell I, ah, this is kind of like a peachy nude quite of a very liquidy formula so I think I might have to go like a couple of times over my lip because it like seems to not be fully opaque that's a nice color I like the color it's a bit patchy and it kind of like removes itself when you're like applying it. So I'm gonna wait it to dry a bit and I may add another layer. This is quite comfortable on the lips though. It's like, it dries pretty quickly. It's like almost dry now. So I didn't have to wait. So let's see how it layers. Yeah, with two layers, it's 
fully a cake and it doesn't feel like uncomfortable with two layers so I'm like not mad at it it's not my favorite formula but I, I like definitely can get use out of this one so now I'm gonna go and dry my hair to try and do something with this my hair and then I can go back and we can go quickly go through the products that I liked and products that I didn't like so I just quickly blow dried my hair and this is the finished look um I'm quite happy with it like the lashes aren't my favorite and for some reason I'm a bit cakey around like this area but other than that, um, I really like this look. Um, I think my favorite thing out of all the new things I tried is the Technique Mesmerizing Pressed Pigment Palette. This like really is good quality and I would really recommend this for that price. For four pounds, four euros, you can't like beat that brush. And, and it was really pigmented and planned out great. It like, it did everything I could ask for. Also, this Kate, Rimmel Kate London, Rimmel London Kate palette was good. I like the blush, the contour. The highlight was a bit too subtle and dark for my skin. But other than that, it's very nice. Um the primer foundation um i used this before good for some reason today the foundation um it doesn't look that bad now but in here unlike in this area i'm for some reason i'm a bit cakey the lip product really nice it's a bit dry like i feel like this can be a bit drying but it's like for two layers you can get a full opaque finish and it's like nice matte liquid lipstick. The Barry M Glitter um, uh, Holographic Eye Toppers, I've used this before, amazing. Like these are really nice dupe for the Stila Glitter and Glows, which are so expensive that I cannot buy them. Let's go to the products that I'm not so sure about. The Blush Palette. Um, it's not my favorite. You can get this to work, but you have to be quite careful with the application because as you guys saw, if you don't like tap the brush out and like tap it on your hand, it can be a bit too, bit too pigmented. I like my blushes like, they, there can be a pigment, but I would like prefer if it's not like fully like bam pigment. The lashes um you can make them work but um the lash plan is to lash pant was a bit too like thick and it was like hard for me on this side to get it to stick on my inner corner and they're not like they look like two different lashes so that's not good the mascara other than the color it's good but i for some reason i bought it in a color black gold so this is a no for me um the powder technique powder not good like um it's not finely milled that it said that it is super fine translucent powder i don't believe that my like face for now because i've used some primer like primer spray it's like soaked in the excess powder but i would not like recommend this powder there are so many more like good affordable powders that you can buy that doesn't like dry out your skin and make it look like scaly and gross the like the biggest fail of this group like the all the products i bought was this technique magic mist illuminating setting spray it's like pretty to watch but it has like a pink blue lilac -y glitters in it it's there's too much glitter in this i was like covered in glitter my eye look my face my 
shirt maybe in the summer you can use this as like a body shimmer spray for that maybe yes but i wouldn't like go and purchase it for that i think that was all the products that i bought and tried today for like overall i really like this look like i i have like no complaints like for a completed look but what do you guys think i would love to hear uh, what do you think of the products and do you have these products and if you do how they work for you please like leave me a comment down below and if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe it's free and polite thing to do um and that's that for this video see you on the next one bye